hello guys welcome to my channel my name is ns Chooks. so in today's video i am going to be making a preview of the hsbc banking php script so if you are a final year student doing a project or you are a beginner level programmer seeking for a first hand experience i think this is a nice nice tool for you so before i commence to the video i would love to make a quick disclaimer this video is only for educational purposes so if you are using information gotten from this video for any other purposes or harmful purposes it is solely on to you so with that said let's move right into the video so this is the website this is the interface and you can take a look at this later on i just want to show you what this website can do and all that the possibilities you can do things you can do with this website so this is basically a banking website so it has many pages it has tens of pages more than 50 pages if i may say so i guess you take a look at each of them when you get the script so let's just take a look at few of them and see how the how professional it looks it looks so professional and sleek so i'll just take a look at few pages and then i move on to log into the dashboard the admin dashboard and also the user dashboard so you can see some few pages it looks really professional and sleek and the menu bar the menu drop down is really really beautiful so with that said let me quickly log in into one account i created based this is just a demo website i hosted this just for educational purposes which i am going to delete sooner so i just log in with the account number and password i think that's the password yes so after imputing the account number and the password you have a login pin that you have to put every single time you log in so here now this is the account it's just for demo purposes is nothing real the money here is nothing real it's just for demo purposes so this is basically the account it has a chat it has a chat boat over here it's not really a boat but it's a live chat you chat with live customer support so that is that and then i i move straight to log into the admin dashboard okay I, I think it's logged in already okay so i log in so this is the admin dashboard and this is the no this is another page and this is the user dashboard the admin dashboard and the user dashboard over here so the admin dashboard you from the admin dashboard you can register a new customer you can see that fill in the first name middle name last name username password occupation phone email fill in the form over here then right here it has generated an account number for this request automatically it select it generated an account number so all you have to do is choose a login pin and then choose a transfer pin just impute some things here put a login pin and put a transfer pin and that's next thing is for you to click on register and then the account will be registered and the <coughs> the customer will receive an email the, the customer that has the email you inputted here will receive an email telling that person you have you now have an account with us with the details the account number and all that the balance and all that so for you to view all users you come here just follow my mouse so these are all users you have in your bank account bank so transfer statuses all the transfers that have been done and their statuses whether successful pending or you know failed and all that so activate or deactivate billing code or the sheets add transfers then debits or credit transaction history you can see all that then transfer records and statuses you can see all that then 
credit user credit user means you are crediting a user in your website so for example i let me credit this account this account in has an initial balance of five thousand mind is not an initial balance i created this account earlier on so i'll add another two thousand dollars here now so for me to do that i'll just select the account these are accounts here i'll just select the account to credit so when you drop down you see all the accounts and the website from you can write from any name from ns chooks you know you can type from ns chooks or from any other name you are sending the money from you know when you get to the bank and you fill the teller you fill the name of the person you are sending it from so amount can just put another let, let me just add two thousand dollars here description just say i just say monthly allowance i'm just formulating some things on my head is not really it's not real you know understand that so date you can just add any date just put any date today is um today is 27th of march 2022 just add any other time add any time and it is 12 37 pm here right now so i just credit credit click on credit account so while i do that it is loading and yeah this account successfully credited the sum of two thousand dollars and here is the account you credited so all we have to do is refresh this page and we now have these seven thousand dollars here which is the five thousand dollars plus the two thousand dollars we credited right now so if you go to bank statement you will see that transaction right there so you can see this two thousand dollars credited you can see the date 27th of march 2022 you can see the description monthly allowance so that is how to do that that is how to do that so if you still want to debit if you if you want to debit any customer you come to debit user and then you you choose the user i still have to choose the same account that i'm logging to and i will debit the same two thousand dollars to make to leave it with the initial five thousand dollars it was before so i'm going to debit it two thousand dollars from ns jukes uh, description you know anything just type anything then the date this date the time uh, any time at all and click on debit account it is loading dun, 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 dun. all right this account successfully debited a sum of two thousand dollars so if i come here and refresh this page i still have this five thousand dollars left so let me go to bank statement and i'll see the same two debits of two thousand dollars from this description of these i just type some rubbish and then date and time so you see that these transfers worked so if i want to do a transfer from the admin from the user dashboard i just come here funds transfer and i can make a local bank transfer or wire international transfer let me just make a local bank transfer and then i'll go to the i'll head over to the admin and get another account account number so that i can transfer to that account so just put it here put the amount you want to transfer here let me just say two thousand dollars then beneficiary account name put it here then, uh, sorry that's account name beneficiary account name i don't know i don't know i think that's the account name i just created so several demo accounts and so beneficiary account number i just copy it right now paste it there receiving bank um let me just say stuff like this narration and purposes testing oh sorry about that testing transfer 
select account type i think that's a savings account and then make transfer as i clicked on make transfer it will bring another window for me to get an otp from my email so for me to do that let me check my email to get the otp yeah i just checked on my phone and i've gotten the otp right here so just grab on the otp um, 244772 okay 244772 click on validate and boom the transfer will be successful so let's watch out for that okay all right you have successfully transferred the sum of two thousand dollars to account number this with name these up yeah okay just click on okay and you can see my balance and i now have three thousand dollars left so guys that is that the bank also have functions like bank cards make deposit you know you can make a deposit to the bank based on bank transfer or bitcoin you get the point bank transfer or bitcoin wallet just do shit like that just play around the scripts you can this is a btc converter for the current prices and then you can receive payments from your customers worldwide with bitcoin and guys you can also get help you can open a support ticket apart from the live chat over here you can also open a support ticket as well if i just say um hello hello this is for educational purposes only i think i have okay educational purposes only so just choose a i have a typo error there but i don't really mind i don't want to waste your time so this is a, me a message subjects you can just say test message and then click on submit you can see that this is going to the the customer care so i can just click on submit ticket so when i click on that a message will be sent to the admin you can see ticket successfully opened your ticket id has been opened and okay now so if i go over to the admin reload this page and then head on to this bank manager and then view tickets you can see that i have this you can see that i have this here hello this is for educational purposes only and the subject is test message so that is all you have to know guys and it also has a feature to let you translate to any other languages in in the world that you want your customers to operate from and then you can also add images to accounts from the admin dashboard and you can do lots more with this banking script guys so if you need this script this script will go only for 20 thousand naira for now so if you need this script hit on the link below to pay for it and also get the direct link to download it immediately so see you guys in the next video bye for now